Is King Cain about to be dethroned by a precocious son? On Saturday, we were at Wembley for the North London Derby where we were asking Spurs fans who their best finisher is. Harry Kane. No doubt, is Kane. 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 Yeah. I don't know, I think Son's doing better at the moment. Sonny. I'm going for Son. It's got to be Kane, isn't it? Right, there's no real question about it. All three yeah. Harry Kane because he Constantly goes low. Set. Always hits the target, goes low. Trippy A. It's got to be Sonny. Although Kane is known to be our best finisher, I'd say Son at the moment, yeah. We'll make a mutual agreement in our heads across here. Harry, obviously, Harry Kane, aren't I? I'll say Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Kane, obviously. It is Kane, yeah. Okay. Superb finisher. Definitely Kane. And Sonny as well. Sonny second, definitely. Son seems to score the more random goals. Our country's guy, Mr. Son. Son Heung Min is the best player, in my opinion. So that's what the fans think. Let's put it to the numbers. So there we have it. Harry Kane is the best finisher at Spurs and perhaps in the world. OK, maybe there's a little bit more to this story. Now, finishing is one of those subjective concepts in football that isn't always obvious to see in the data. In terms of raw volume, we could talk about goals scored or XG, but finishing is more about the skill of putting these chances away rather than the raw volume itself. In terms of volume, sure, Harry Kane. But what can we say about finishing itself? A couple of weeks ago, we did an episode which introduced a different way to think about finishing. We set up a Bayesian model that adjusted the probability of a chance going in from the results of our XG model by a marginal improvement to these odds based on who was the actual player taking the shot. In that episode, we reveal Leroy Sané to be the City player who most improves the odds of his chances. However, when we run the model across all Premier League players since August 2016, there is a Spurs player at the very top of the rankings. It's not Harry Kane, but actually Hoang Min Son. When I think of Son finishing, I tend to think of him not so much as a poacher, but rather a player who's elite at making space for a shot and striking the ball cleanly and with power. As such, he finishes chances from outside the box and out wide in the box at a much more proficient rate than other players. Can we add this granularity to our model? We split all shots into three zones. Shots taken inside the central area of the box, shots taken from wide areas of the box, and shots taken from outside the box. With this distinction, each player's marginal improvement to his shots is estimated separately for each zone. Son is remarkably high across the board. He's the fifth best finisher from the center of the box and the second best from the other two zones. What makes him really stand out though is that he's not a merchant of any specific area. As a contrasting example, Eden Hazard's shots are markedly more likely to go in from wide areas of the box than a regular XG model would believe, and he's about on par with XG when shooting from other areas. Spurs golden boy Harry Kane finishes at an elite rate from central areas of the box and from outside the box, but is average from wide areas of the box. This approach lets us answer another interesting question. Which Premier League player has the most similar profile to Son? The answer is Leroy Sané, the protagonist from our previous episode introducing this approach. Like the Korean, Sané adds danger through his finishing across all zones. In fact, they're the only two players in the league who have this type of profile adding danger wherever they shoot from. Nevertheless, Son's marginal improvement to the odds of his shots is higher across the board compared to Sané. So there we have it, wherever he finds himself on the pitch, you can always rely on Son to produce a good finish. Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been 3 Minute Myths, Delusions Debunked in 180 seconds.